recording for Black U TV in Luke Lane, downtown Kingston, Jamaica. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon, brethren. Can you please tell me your name, please? Yeah, my name is Cooper Johnson, you know. Cooper Johnson. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm from Denham Town, Western Kingston. Okay. Yeah. Um, Co Cooper Johnson, is your name or is that your alias? Well, it's a street name where people call me still and the name they go by it, but that's the name people, most people know by, you know. Cooper Johnson, you know. What, what, why did you get that name? How did you get that name? Well, this name yeah, is from where I go to school. A lot of people used to say this youth, I love youth, you know. So through Johnson and Johnson was a baby product. That name would just stick to me, the man from the small, me always around a lot of youths. So that's how it is, you know. Okay. T tell me, did, did you have any brothers and sisters? Yeah, I have around three brothers, three sisters. Are they, uh, what, 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 what the situation, what are they doing? Are they in the same lifestyle as you well, or? My brother that elder me, he died in America, you know. One okay. of my next brother now, that's the one who follow my sister that follow me, he is alive. And the, the one who follow him is alive too. So those brothers are alive. And the sisters are all right. All of them are alive. But two live in America, one live in England. Two in America, one in England. Yeah. Okay. Tell me something. For example, if the father is known to be a don, it moves on to the next generation and next generation. Well, for me, no badness are involved in the badness. Badness is always a cycle. You know, you're just thinking I go now. The bigger you, them the pan corner, and the smaller you, them observe those bigger you living certain life, and them start to come hang around those bigger you. Then when those bigger you get look bigger again, those smaller one becomes the man who replaces that. So. It's a cycle that get away where badness is concerned. The smaller youth always follow the one who big on him, come from the corner, sit down, a man send go do this, a man send go do that. Look at my man, give him a gun, for go put on and eventually he becomes a bad man. You know? So, so, so the whole thing go, you know? So basically, yeah. m m most youths, they don't really, um, they don't really grow to get into badness. The badness is already in their blood, in their yeah, genes. Yeah, but you have thing with them called peer pressure. Peer pressure? Yeah, when no. you, when you live in a in our community and you have some youth grow up and go to school together and go mm -hmm. together and thing, you know? Yeah. Now, say take for instance, it's 12 youth you have and out of that 12 youth, they, three of them are good youth. Go to church, behave themselves good and thing. But the next one, them, them up and down the street and streetwise and the certain thing. No, because those three who don't really involve. And them see these uh, do these activity. It eventually draw them to that activity because they don't want to look like the one who left behind or left out. They okay. want to be a part of this thing where I go on. So eventually they get involved in it. So I just saw the whole gang thing go, you know. You know, you okay. left school and they might come from school every time and see some man sit down on the corner and him love all them youth they sit down every day, well clean, well dressed, have money in them pocket. The girl they might flock around them. Then it, it draw him. He start to come from school, he start to stop on the corner now and a man say, come in youth, go buy two cigarettes, go buy a dry read for me. And it becomes a regular thing, so he becomes a future on the corner, he becomes a part of the corner, then look more with him left school. He might one of the man who, who are around the corner. So I just saw the badness thing go, you know. And he just moves down from yeah. one to the other. Yeah, oh. so it go, man. T tell me something. What did you come to see your, 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 your family doing, your father and your mother? Well, because my father is a hard working man and my mother is a hard working man, you know. But you're the thing now with that now. We come to see a system where it was colonialism. Because we know so Jamaica never get independence in 1962. So all of them time we live under the British. And there was a lot of prejudice and victimization against the poor people. So. Although my mother and father try very hard for me to be, grow up as a decent youth, it never work out that way because of the lot of discrimination. Certain things where you see as youth, where you don't like, have your father and mother couldn't afford it, then it becomes a problem to you because you want these things. So you have a final way to get these things. So it leads from there to other things, you know. That's how it is, you know. Okay. Fair enough. Tell me something. How did you, you see, in my, in my opinion, every year, every generation, every decade, the, um, everything changes. The lifestyle changes, the way of making money, everything changes. 
So in your time, yeah. okay, how was you making money? How was you making a living? Tell you I could tell you something. It started from your youth. When you are youth, you start with some little simple things. And those little simple things make you feel nice now yourself. So you start vision for do the bigger things. Then you start with the bigger things and you want to do more bigger. You know? So mm -hmm. it leads to that. Because can we give you an example. With me you now, when me I go to school, I was a good youth, I go to school, love medication and study hard and thing, you know. But at the same time, you find see a lot of pressure comes from we as youth we live in the ghetto because in the school you find the teacher don't like her because come from certain era, so she pay less attention to we and give the one who come from the better era the more attention. We observe them things they are looking to go to yes. school. You know? yes. Sometimes we go to school, the lunch money where parents give it, it's not adequate. Then we go see another youth in school, he have adequate lunch money, he have a nice lunch, and those things come start going ahead. Why your mother can't give you that? Why you can't have that? Then realize, say, I know, really, the mother fault and the system fault, you know. And I can tell you the next thing. It's when we are grow as local youth, we used to have the police come around at the community and they used to take set from the bigger youth in the community. And you as youth see them think they know so them youth and never deserve this because they don't know if the police are come and run them up and down and they have them split them up and they run up and down. And these things upset me. I don't know about the next man, but it used to upset me very badly. So me decide say one day, so watch you know, I don't have to work with this type of system, you know, I have to work against this. You do your own thing? Yeah, I have to work against this. Then you meet up some bridge in a long time where I do for them things though. We start mm -hmm. do things with them and it lead to other things. So me start for me very young, we start for me at 13, you know, for me at 13. 13 you know. years old? Yeah, for me at 13, I decide, so watch you, I don't have to go bow on a guy, I don't have to make a guy make me deprive a certain thing. I have to look my things, so me start going to go look it. Come here, go look at it. You, know, you start simply, you, know, you start go out there and you start pick two pockets, you fly to one bag, and the money nice, and you live nice. Then you may have a bigger version. I say, Watch your man, you know, so we can do something bigger, and this, then you start some wall up. It starts simply with life, then it comes to God. So the whole thing is like that, you know. Then further on, it escalates, bigger things happen, people get hurt. The community live nice, because the man where you go to go get to come spend back to the community. So look at the shop, the man where the shop down the corner, the man where the bar around the so, the local man where the food shop, we come spend our money. So at the same time, we are go out to go take from those who have it and come help our community who don't have it. Even a, a, a bit of a Robin Hood style. That's where we grow. We are always that. People can't call you anything, but we are always the one who check for the poor. Them say we are this, we are that, but we love the people them in the community. We always look out for them and we always protect them and do what we can do for them, you know. And yeah. a few to send go to school, you know. We couldn't go to school because the mother have it, you know. And love dinner pot we put on on fire because of our activity out in the street. So yeah. all of these things we, we deal with. So me start very, very young, you know. Yeah. And we pay the price, you know. We get whole up and nice so tight, but we get a lot of sorrows, you know. Because we used to end up in jail like regular. I got go a jail in Montego Bay, I got a jail in Spanish Town, I got a jail in St. Anne's, I got a jail in Constant Spring, I got a jail in Alfred Tree, Central Police Station. You're well Ten known then. Police Station, well Once known. Police Name them, I lock up in all of those jails. Ochi. <laughs> Ochi. <laughs> the average not tell them all Ochi. So, we experience these things and most of the time we don't really do nothing, you know. But through the police are like, we can't come from the inner city. We end up at this place. So it make it more bitter. I don't want to hurt them. So you know, look, we always go take for them things. And Carol, me love take with boy things, you know, especially the rich boy. You know. Me love when me all have my gun and my knife and them and them trim blah, we take them things. Me not afraid to talk that, because them send me a prison for these things. Uh -huh. Me enjoy that for take with the rich boy things. Because I love things them take with from me. From mm -hmm. real back, them are take things from me. You are talk, you are people are talking about George Flight. I hear them up, have them lean over our neck. But you know, body not talk about them things. I hear Babylon, them lean them, them, them a poor people neck. So we resist that. We fight that. And we help other youth. Eh? I know every youth will come home, we encourage them to watch out for doing what we are doing. You know? We tell youth to go to school, don't do this. Go get education, go get a work. I know few to encourage you to do those things. Cause I know so like we love to do it, you know, but we're forced to do it. We're pushing our corner, we have to do these things, you know.
because the man never look out for you. Know, we don't we depend upon politicians. We are the set of youth. We don't, we don't want politicians and out. We don't depend upon mm -hmm. them things. Because them boys they can't come to use me. You know? Yeah. Because you know what I mean with know, politicians? And many years me I watch youth, we are defend them guys there. I see them dead. I mean, never see one of them come at them youth, the federal, or say that I'm going to come say, buy some drink for them nine night, night or say I reach up and put on them cough. Me never see them thing, they always the same look come on them, not get to a guy in federal and I come support them thing. So why yeah. we for, why we for die for those boys? Eh? So, so, so do you feel that because of the um because of the the mistreated way or the, or the un, unfair way in which the government has dealt with the country and individuals caused you to be the person that yeah, you are? Yeah, the society and the government deal with we as youth. You save them that give you opportunity and I set up things that we can make achievement like when them do things with all the guys them up a St. Andrew. We are all right, man. We don't go in a crime, man. Because all we need are the support and, and somebody for care. But none of them never care. Because once you live about below crossroad, nobody no care. No matter nobody tell you different. Once you live below crossroad, nobody care about you. You just a statistic. You know? Mm -hmm. So that's all the thing said. All right. So you see, uh, you like we have to go out there and we have to make sure say, boy, our youth eat food and our house are right and them thing they food they they feel mad and the picnic and them thing they and we have to look about them thing they were you know, because the bad no give you work and all them thing they do. I, you think we don't look work, we're gonna look all them thing about for them you say boy you live a Oakland, you live a Nelson Street, you live a Albert Street. No, no, no. So just because of the area where address, you come from address, address is that thing we keep down many youth in this country, address the area where you come from. You lack, you lack, forget certain opportunity. We say me say me live and do in the park or premier call. I'm going to show. That's how it is. So just because that's of the area man. where you come from. Yeah man, that's how it is for me. Ancient time till they now. look at you differently. That's how it is. When I grow you know, a two type of teacher me get it. used to go to school you know. I used to have me a fire gun and I go to good things. I still go to school, you know. But I never go to school on Friday. That's one day I go to school on Friday. Because my house in there that. But every other day I go to school. See? But I don't go to school teaching me get it. I used to go. It's when I left school that evening, mm -hmm. used to have a place with them called Bakawal, where Pierre Rasta, man. I used to go down there so I get education again. So I two types of education we get, you know. We yeah. get the education from the Rasta, man, and we get the education from the English type of teaching. Okay. But you hear the difference? We put the two of them together and me analyze. That's why I can work out now my head. The right education. You know? Mm -hmm. Because I learned from very early to analyze and judge society and look at society and evaluate what society I do. And it's terrible, my you know? Yeah. What was your first, what was your first crime? The first crime that you did, what, 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 was, you, what was it, if you can remember that far back? You know, the first crime, I don't, I don't know if that crime still, but I tell you the first thing, I don't know about that, it's wrong, you know? When I was seven years old, I say a man had a bag of ganja. I'm going to thief the man read and take out and build a spliff and smoke it and knock out. You know? That yeah. The yeah, that's the first thing I know I do as a youth. I know I shouldn't do it because I see the man put on them things. I steal, I'm going to steal the man thing, you know? Yeah. I could even build a spliff. It's a funny little bill and show the read night and light it. You know? Mm -hmm. And it knocked me out. So that's one of the first things. Uh, I've, 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 okay. Do it, doing that first, breaking that first rule, doing that first offense. I'm sure that, did I give you, did I give you the drive or the excitement no, or the, to do really, another? No, it never really give me no drive or excitement. We're giving the drive for the crime. Let me, let me tell you already, you know, we're giving the drive for the crime. Or right, let me see. Oh, my brethren in other community being treated by the society. You know? Because... Mm -hmm. When we go downtown, we used to go down, we used to leave school as youth, you know, just to go look for the, the excitement and the prettiness downtown. I used to walk and go downtown. And when we go downtown, we always are here for the police. You're not to be down here. If them see you more one time, you end up a central police station charge for you to them call a suspicious person. You end up going to prison or going to reformatory. Them things they used to upset me, because why we can't go downtown? Downtown are for everybody, you never build for the rich man's son or the rich man alone. Why we have to get to youth when we go down there and be in a rass? by the police. Them things they used to get me mad. You know? Mm -hmm. So I start going to them store go take with them things. With them call it shoplifting, whole world time store. Me just start go take with them things. Me tell me love take with me rich white things, you know. Yes. Cause them take with so much from me. Every day them take them pick a pocket, them do all kinda of things. So we have to do them take back the same thing. 
So that's where you start. Start from that. Uh, so tell me, but um, in your years to this day now, 2021, we're going what? what in the 70s, you say? This is from the 60s. Me, 60s. The board, you know. Okay, so we, we're going on well, 40, 40 years now. Yeah. So how much has changed between then and now? Regarding now, let's let's talk about crime first. Crime. How much has changed? Do you think that basically the crime has gotten more violent, more physical, or less? Yeah, man, crime changed over the years. Come tell you this. When we start out crime, you know, most man where the crime, them go block a shop, them block a house, them go all up come place, couple bed shop, maybe some store and all of them thing there, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, but there yeah, comes a time now where one man have to set a trend where he to change things, you know. Yeah. Well, it so happened to me that me was one of the man where I have to set that trend when we start rap bank. So I set an example you now where all of the youth that were around me start rap bank. We rap the most bank in Jamaica. No guy in Jamaica that rap bank like me. So you're like a leader? Yeah. We, okay. we love rap bank, you know. Yeah. So we show the youth them around me for rap bank to uh, are the best thing that we do. Because if we get 10 years for one of a guy on the street, no better get 10 years for rap two bank. So that's how we used to analyze things. That's why we think different from the youth that we know what the address about the thing. Because we used to look upon the bigger things. We never used to look upon the small things. Because if you get life sentence, you go rob a man upon the car, and better go rob the man rob the whole of the money in the place. And get 10 years too. So from that trend they set now, man, start step it up. Okay. And start go take with some high, high profile payroll and all them things. Because we do all of them things too, you know. Uh -huh. Because so we used to do it, you know. Okay. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so re regarding the police then, because it's, you know, a lot of things change. Yeah, a lot of things change. I think yeah. the Cause we change now, presently now. You see them youth and over the gun. Them youth and over the money. You know? Them not gonna look money. Them look bodies. You know. Them love to kill people. We used to love go make money. For a virgin can look nice. Our virgin have money. Our community nice. You know. Them mm -hmm. youth are just bring sorrows in our community. We have nothing against them. You know. They must know where they are doing. You know. You know? Mm -hmm. But we that do a different thing. We that think a different way, you know? So okay. we don't have a fight a man thinks we do today. Because if I say we do it, but we never think that way. Because yeah. we more think we make the community nice and happy. And we enjoy ourselves, you know? Okay. So that's how we see it, you know? How, uh, how, in, just, just say an average, just give, say roughly, how much yeah. banks would you say you rob? 50, 100? No, so much bank, you know? We huh? bank, we rob, we rob England, we rob bank, we rob our own three bank at Jamaica. There are some amount of bank that we rob, but we make only for you to rob only more bank, you know? So, yeah. okay. So you say over 20 then, right? We, you know, we're, we're all around rob together. Yeah. Yeah, man, I own them bank, right. amount of bank. So <laughs> if you check the average amount, that, 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 <laughs> the, the, um, the yeah. percentage of that money, how much would you say you all calculated all together out of no, those? No, we don't calculate money. It's when we go rob bank, we just come share up money and make people have money. We don't, Drill upon them things. We don't really was like that. Where we have say why we are riches and we are gonna count up money and we're gonna put money in the sun. Mm -hmm. We just go get money and we bring all this. Go buy two shoes or go buy where you want to buy. We're mm -hmm. nice so she can go shopping. That's how we used to deal with it, man. We was playboy, you know. Bad boy, playboy, you know. Mm -hmm. Love sleep. Every day we trash up our pocket full of money. I we go on all boat guy gyro save. Them you tell them thing there, you know. You know? Big pot every day we cook and Live healthy and them thing there. Them youth and do that. We used to do them thing there. Because so we grow up. You know? Mm -hmm. And did we used to build alliance. One of the things we do, we used to build alliance. Because we deal with youth from every corner. Once you step on, we know you step on. You know? Okay, I'll do, I'll do something for me, you. please. Explain something for me, please. Yeah. Can you explain for the viewers what alliance mean? Exactly. I mean, we are friends all about. You know, we don't build enemies, we build friends. Uh -huh. We are friend of the corner there, friend owner of the corner there, friend of the corner there. We just build friends. We never used to build enemies. Uh, you know, and them things that we used to deal with, you know, alliance. Cause okay. most of my works from a step on, you know, my virgin them and me and them grow together, you know. Me have one man from the corner there, one man from the corner, and maybe two men from my look immediate field. Cause some used to step international crew, all of England international too, you know. Yes. That's what we step, you know. Tell me something. Do you feel any remorse? Do you feel any remorse for any of the victims that you may have hurt or may have robbed in the past? 
Virgin, I'm sure you're not the first part, you know. You see, the people that will take things from other people who can't afford it, and the people that would have take things from me all these years. I know? understand so that 100%. I'm not for them people, you know. You see, uh -huh. when I go out there, I rob all the command, I'm mean, doing 9 to 5, and I know when I rob him, I'm picking them, I go hungry and all them things. They don't have remorse, you know. Mm -hmm. But none of them guys, yeah, every day, them rob poor people, you know. Can't have remorse for them, man. No way, you know. Okay. You know? All right. All right, tell me, you see, from the um, from the moment I met you to this moment, I realized that there's a posture about you that's kind of like different from most Jamaicans. It gave me the impression that you've traveled. Yeah, man. So, can I ask you, please, have you traveled before? Am I right? Yeah, I'm going to go places like America, England, Holland, Belgium. You're a traveler? Yeah, man. I'm going to tell you that international youth, man. That's the point. I'm a real revolutionary youth. You know? Yeah. Cooper Johnson. People are going to see this and when they see them, I say, I hear them as a Cooper Johnson. I wanted the body to see what that went over when I go, you know. Yeah. It was like that, you know. Mm -hmm. I used to love fire gun shot and thing, you know. We shoot up place and them things. But them things that was secondary. We never used to enjoy them things. They used to enjoy go get money, you know. Yeah. But when guy disrespect them, you have to set example. We used to think like that. Too. But whenever I really dwell on them things, it wasn't like gangsters where I fight gang war. We never love gang war. One gang war I fight myself in Balvin and this arena 19, around 1965. Them times we still in a school. I will fight this war for around three years. Some youth will call themselves Vikings. You know? And them youth there was some bad youth, tough youth, militant youth them. Mm -hmm. Eventually me and many of them youth becomes good friends. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because them youth they will either fight either say revolution. Them youth they want to fight the system, the government. And we love that. So I saw me and the mute there start link up back now later life. You know? Yeah. Yeah man. So, so tell me something. When um between England, Jamaica, uh, we're in a brain of you grew you grew you born here and you grew up here, but if you had a preference, a choice of where you'd wanna live and Jamaica, grow up. Jamaica man, I don't have no doubt about that time of hesitation to come to live in Jamaica. I mean I wanna live nowhere else in the world but Jamaica. I'm South Africa alone. But no else. Mm -hmm. We just want to visit other place, you know, but Jamaica is my place in Africa, man. We may want to dwell, you know, put on roads. Yeah. Okay. Um, tell me, see, see, now in 2021, I think if you get deported from, a, from America or England, it's a lot harder now to get back. Okay, and then it was in those days. Am I right? How right. easy was it to get back to um, America and England? Yeah, right, and would you man. try go back? Yeah, I get the opportunity for go back, me that go back still, you know. But right now, I don't really like me, I kill up myself or I put stress put by myself and go back at those places. But if it come about me, me travel back at those places. Because, you see, in Jamaica, all you need is just to have money, you know. Have, have some money where you can eat, you, go, you carry yourself clean. And you're all right, you don't really need to have 10 hours or 10 car. I don't know why man want those things, you know. 10 car, 10 hours. All you need are food and somewhere comfortable and you're good. You know? Uh, you know? It, tell me something. Um, I've unfortunately been to um, prisons on both sides of the fences, right? All right. In Jamaica now, 1971, the police them come down and you know them get them information. But them come and round up me and three more guys, you know? This them time of me uh, 1971, me around 17 year old, where them hold me and child, two bank robbery. Where them claim say them have witnesses and all them thing, you know. So we go through a long remand period and then when the court case come up, them give me 90 years. 90 years, you know. A 17 year old youth are going to be 18, the, the judge look for and get 90 years. Got them say me rob two bank. Yeah. You know? And those guys are thief and robbers and pirates who rob so many billions and none of them end up in prison. But you go look some money in a two bank for me and my virgin, they eat food. They give me 90 years. Me eventually do 10 years out of the 90 years. Eh? But during that 10 years, you know. 90 years? Yeah, they give me, you know. Nine zero? 90 years, the judge give me, you know. So how much did you have to do out of that? For one of the cases, they give me 50 years, two 20 years and a 10 years. And for one of them, give me four 10 years. That's wrong concurrent. Okay. All right. No, when them give me that, no, me take that very hard, you know. Because me just uh, come out of my teenage years, no. 
I'm sure out the road and live life. And I'm saying, if I go to prison for spend these times. So during the time of my prison, I just educate myself more. At the same time, I just build some good friends. Some friends that I know when I come around, we can't join together again and show these guys, say, eh? when I feel like when I, re when I change, re, you know, by luck and we are here for so many years, you know. But we do one thing, we come out and we do some dangerous things after that. When we left prison and come around, there are some serious things happening, you know, serious are with me that I do before, you know. Mm -hmm. We came going at DT and that's what I think, you know, can't choose some of them when they are alive and some of them things are still alive. But there's some serious things, you know. So I assure you, so when them scream, so them say that I'm on a prison and I'm going to change and things. Sometimes them say that I'm on a prison and know they make it worse or what's going, you know. Yeah. Yeah, that's one of the things that reached me at the same time, you know. But during that time, I do a lot of good for you. Because I start some program at the prison where I help a lot of youth, you know. Mm -hmm. I start a program, a craft program at the prison where you could earn money from, car, we get some big contract to make carry to the farm. You used to make a lot of craft things. And, who we'll start this program is one day a portion where we just sit down and you know, we just we're in a prison, you know, them not a work for Gary, you know, we just high glave every day, we just sit down and we chat and we smoke and we play games and that's, that's 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 prison abroad? In Jamaica. Oh in Jamaica, okay. Yeah, this is a night in the seventies me I tell about you right now. Okay, and sorry. that period of time when we do that now. We sit down there and we just take a phone book and take some address out there and write some letters and make some people some money. We're a prison, you know. Mm -hmm. I beg. These guys we have the money, the rich, rich guys, some money to start something to help ourselves. Because the system never help in a prison. Because they just lock you up for all these years. We're not on a trade. We're not on a work. We're in the prison. All we do is sit down every day and chat and play games. And them lock you down and open up the same thing over and over every day for all these years. So we decide to start something to help ourselves. Fortunately, the Dutch embassy, which is the Netherlands, we recall Alan. Mm -hmm. For the members to donate, Send 12,500, I think, come give in at the prison as prisoner. In, in that time, they are all for money that, you know. So we use that money and send go, my go buy some machinery and a lot of equipment and some material. I will start a program, a craft work committee program where we keep all big exhibition out of the road and all them things, half of that program and a lot of recognition, a lot of man get half of that program. Okay. For sure, say, it wasn't bad, we wanted the good, but we never get the chance. Nobody not giving no help, nobody no want to put a hand face and say, boy, the money I try to make push them up look further. You know? During all of this, when we had all of this, we had get the most fight to stop this thing from mash it up, you know. Yeah, man, from mash it down, you know. Yeah. We we'll persevere and we we'll do it good. And people are proud, even the government is proud of it. Because we do something with them show hard one, they never do it, you know. So we we'll go through bad times and good times at the prison and thing, you know. Uh -huh. Till eventually I come out and we start so I will be myself and go among my good brethren, my brother Greg Rice, and we start the music together and go around and we start the things, you know. Mm -hmm. oh, I, I want to say something to you, Mr. Cooper. From, from the beginning of this interview, I'm sure anybody that's looking as well, they were looking, they were watching, and see, like, you, you appear just like me normal, cool, calm, and collective. So I want to ask you something seriously. Yeah. Those many years that you spent behind that bars, didn't they, did they affect you mentally? Like, how did they affect you? No, cause I hear the difference now. We learned something early, you know. You see, before we start travel physically by taking plane and go to these places, mm -hmm. we used to go to these places by reading about these places. So we used to travel through books, you know? So we read, we read a book about somewhere in America, it's like it's there. It's like my presence is there. So I used to have these type of things in my head when I travel by reading, you know? So you do a lot of reading when you was in prison? I do a lot of thousands of books. I read every day, man. I love reading. Up to all today, I still read, man. I love reading, man. I educate myself good, you know, man. I come to England to prison and get a bachelor of art degree, diploma, all them things. Prison. In, from prison? Yeah, you know? So, so it goes to show that you can... I educated you with and things still. I have them knowledge. Yeah. I'm mean, a dentist. I'm mean, a good dentist, you know? All them skills that me You're have. You're a dentist also? Yeah, that me I show you. I have, have them skills that from my youth, you know. I show you the opportunity. That me I tell you. From my youth, I have these skills, you know. 
So you tell me, so you tell me, Mr. Mr. Cooper, right now, if me, if me, if me, if me have a tooth taken, I want you to cut my teeth. You can't take out my teeth for me. Tell him what's teeth me take out for him. See right beside me. See right beside. How are you saying? All the next one in that. So we can tell him what teeth me take out. Mr. Cooper, listen to me. Listen to me. Everybody out there say me take out most of the people who have your teeth. Hey, me, Mr. Cooper. I want you understand me properly. Listen. So when you say your dentist, and if you ask everybody now about the place you're dentist, what kind of dentist you tell me now? Talk to me seriously, because you're a gangster. So what kind of what kind of dentist are you telling me? Ah, it's when me had a Badness when me I go round and I do all of these things, me I learn dental work. Me I go out of school, go study it and all them things. You know? So during all of these things, we just fascinate with dental work. When me I do crime and all them things, we still have the dental work. We just love dental work. We go to prison and come from prison, we still do dental work. We go to England and go to prison and come from prison, we still do dental work. Because people always ask me, where my dentist there? You know, over five years, I had a teeth I want to take out of me. I nobody else take out for you. I rate me I read all of them things I hear every day from people, you know. So people know that, say, I'm a dentist. They now go to no other dentist unless I'm me. So if you if you never choose choose the gangster street life, yeah, then you could have yeah, yeah, been... I get all Jim Brown, my brethren. get all big work at the clinic, you know, Tibali Day, with them call operation, friendship with the dental work. I never go do it. So I get the opportunity from a bridge, not, not, not a big boy, not a politician, no. Yeah. A man who them claim say, it's a Dan, give me that opportunity, you know. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's why I have to respect them, man, the Jim Brown. I'm a virgin, man. Yeah, All man. right. Them, you see, for people in Jamaica, that are gangsters, people on the street that go to prison, they have no idea what England prisons are like. People in America don't have an idea what England prisons are like unless they've actually been there themselves or actually hear about it. Tell me something. You've actually been to Eng American prison, England, no, and never Jamaica. American. Never, never been to America. Okay, pardon me. Take that back. But you've been to England. Yeah. Describe the prison between England and Jamaica. How, how would you describe it? Well, Jamaica is a, a shit house. Put it that way. It's a shit house. Compared to a prison we are called prison civilized, not civilized society. When in prison in England, the place, the environment alone, distant, quite clean. Your living condition is better. Yeah, describe it to me, yes. All right. In Jamaica, you live in a look up, we call it a three by three, you look up something them call a cell, you know? Yeah. All three, five man, you lock up now that. Five man in one cell? Yeah, man. It, it sometimes we charge seven man and sell a GP. They want to look a small something, you know. Seven man in one yeah. cell, and how, how no big is that bedding. cell? N well, no, no bedding. You have to spread cardboard. Uh, sometimes them give look a one mattress to the cell and all them things there and give you a blanket. So you have a side that spread cardboard or sleep by a blanket. All right. Now, you, 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 they, they let you out early in the morning, like, say, so 8 o'clock, feed you. Give you a time out, lock it down 12 o'clock lunchtime, and you come out back maybe 1 or 2 o'clock, then lock down 4 o'clock. So you got to be like 4 o'clock at the time. You ready there, Jamaican prison. At the time, you got to be 4 o'clock, you know? Yeah. 4.30, you know? All right. In the afternoon? In the afternoon. Yeah. Like 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 8 for oh, works that, in the that, prison? That, 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 that may I tell you, so you don't get those things. So, when you're in, in prison in England, you sell, you have a television, you have a one bed, you have a local cupboard where you can put your food in, you have a table where you have a chair where you sit down and eat, eat oh. you alone have that that you're selling. Yeah. Yeah? You can't go to work. If you're not work, then pay your same rate. Yes. You go to work, you get a bigger money. You go to education, you get pay the same rate for it. Them thing they can see the doctor regular. When you have a GP, once a time you see a doctor, you know, sometimes you don't get a day that you can see the doctor. So, I do see the difference there, you know. So it's like a, it's like a hotel then in the prisons in, in, in England? You don't call it that. I'm, I'm going to Holland and I never go into the prison hall and like for say, I get locked up in the boat. I say, I'm prison hall and, and that. I don't mean, I'm more say it's like a hotel car. It's like me, I look on Pegasus or one of them places when I see that prison there and the wall, when I see. I want to look at something where you can just walk over it, you know, and a prison that all and so we want to walk on, you know. Uh -oh. So, so, so if you see, um, the, the conditions in Jamaica is like shit out, as you say, yeah, yeah, and man. it's like a hotel. A dungeon we have here, man, and a prison we have at Jamaica, a dungeon. 
dungeon, so the place overcrowded and rotten down and full of shit, uh, shit water everywhere and rat infested and everything. And a prison thing. Rat can't. infested? Yeah, them place were calm them many years, you know. Many, many years all them place were leaked down, mashed down. But at that, I tell our government corrupt. The go none of the government who ever Jamaica don't want to spend the money to build a decent facility for lack of the youth. Because they just want to thief the money. All them do is just thief the money. And when I look at youth go out, they go look at money for a better time coming to them, send them to prison, them send all the police to come kill him. And yet, them boys, they are thief millions and none of them are going prison, you know. And them uh -huh. things that make me do crime, you know. When we see all them boys, they are going out of them robbery, and none of them are going prison, you know. Them call themselves white collar criminal. What about you? I don't know why I cost a bad word for the people and things. Okay. What can, for me, a criminal is a criminal, whether it's white, blue, or no, no color, no, no, nothing. For me, a thief, money, you're a thief. So, why them fear brand research are a criminal and them are the biggest criminal? Right now, you have two boys we, we in a big position where we, the people, put them to take care of our business and them rob up the money. Them lock them up. We can't hear nothing about the case until we go on to tell the next five year, years so why judge let them go because there's no evidence. And they read them deal the thing. Uh -huh. So you see, they look a poor man at all the time. I'm the man where I feel the thing. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. You see, the, the, the politicians, the officers, the police officers, I go on and on in Jamaica, all criminal in my opinion. They all have a past or a previous of whereby someone used to be a drug dealer before of some kind of, basically. What I'm basically trying to say is this. Even you as yourself, as an ex-gangster, you had the knowledge, you had the knowledge to even be a dentist, Yeah. right? So don't you feel that the youth of today can also turn around, make a change yeah, man. from being a drug dealer or a killer yeah, or a man, gangster yeah, man, yeah, man. and the same way the policeman yeah, can be a policeman yeah, now man. and he has passed like yeah, that yeah, man. so surely the youth these yeah, days can basically yeah, all right both gain that as well what are dangerous man when me out on the road you know and for the past i'm so long now you know me just be a distant to you know me not, me not, me not do nothing wrong you know so people can't change because i'm changing now over you have a cult me they're going at 20 years i wrote them tired enough <laughs> i wrote 20 years me not going at the bad this thing i got chop the body thing down and something so people can't change you know yeah people can't change but uh, you have to just give the man a chance to change you know yeah yeah um in my, you see, from, from speaking to a lot, a lot of ex-gangsters and people that's been through a lot, yeah. I realize that a lot of the words, a lot of their lips are, the four-letter words is, if I did know. If I did know. If I did know. So yeah. now that you're, um, you're basically an old, an old elder now, an old man, looking back now, if you did know, so, no, you know, I'm not dwell upon that thing there, but you hear me look upon now. I look upon and say, you know, I'm going to do things better. I'm going to make my life be a better way. I used to look upon it that side. Because with my, with, with, with my school, you know, I get and thing and, and, and the skill where I go learn in a dental world. I know I'm going to do better in life. But I'm going show you, my thing based upon a hurt to what I say happen to people where we close to and people I love, where I say happen to those people, it make me feel hurt. Mm -hmm. And it forced me for like me, I have a rebel. It was a form of rebellion in my youth days. A rebellion thing, you know? Mm -hmm. So, I don't like me having a regret say, why I do these things and unfortunately, I find myself in a problem over, over these things, you know? I never have regret about that. Because I don't like to do nothing and then I have a regret about it. That means, say, I better me never do it, you know? Yeah. I'm proud of it still, you know? Uh, and I say, like, I'm proud of the lifestyle of me that live. I'm never proud of it. Sometimes I feel shame and embarrassed too, when I have a family and I have certain people who I love. know that I have certain things and sometimes I ask them about it. I feel good in myself I talk about it with them and them things. Like. So I go through them emotions still. You know? yeah. But I know something like say, boy, I say, why I regret it, I'm sorry. Why if I never go do this more than end up a prisoner, my life is that better. No, because your destiny is your destiny. Now. What is our day is It's our day, you know? So. Mm -hmm. I saw my head just need set for happen like how it happened now, you know? Okay. If, 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 if the Almighty wants it different, it's that different, you know? The Almighty? Yeah. So you believe, you, you believe in the Almighty? Me a man believe in, how oh, you talk about man, I pray and them thing there, you know, man. I don't go my bed without some prayers and them thing there, you know? Because mm -hmm. I don't God to keep me, man. So even but though I you tell do... this, why me have to love God, you know? It's up in England, eh? 
police shoot me through my neck, you know. Uh huh. Come through that side there. You see the two big holes them? Yes. Yeah, Scotland Yard, you know. And you survived that? Yeah. And, and many, many more times, police shoot half of me and not one of them no catch me. So you see, all of those things you have to give praise, you know, and you know, say, boy, your friend on the back of the field die, you know. Yeah. You there on the back of the field and things happen, but you escape and you never die, you know. So you have to give thanks and know, say, the Almighty, I protect you, you know. How, yeah. how many times do you unfortunately, have you unfortunately, unfortunately been shot? At one time, I should get shot and I, boy shot me and I ended up shooting two of them still. So I kind of feel good for you know, and I'm alone to get shot, two of them to get shot. You know, but whole of police shoot half of me many, many times, many, many times. Jamaica, many, many times. Okay. You, know? you see, um, the, rehabil yeah, the rehabilitation system right now that's out there right now for the youth them to change, to, to make them change from big turning into gangsters. What do you think about the re rehabilitation system that's up at the moment? You see, rehabilitation virgin, me can't give a man an experience with that, you know. If a man don't want to change, you know, or rehabilitate himself, as you say, nobody can make him do that, you know. Nobody in the world, no care with them do. They may trick the system by pretending. Because I know in prison, they have this thing, say, for sure, say you are rehabilitated, you have the certain courses that you have to show remorse and all of these things, you know. Mm -hmm. and, and, and admit to crime where maybe you never do the crime, but you want to come out, you got to admit to it and all these things, you know. So, man can pretend to deny these things and say rehabilitate and come out of prison, but he never rehabilitate one inch. So, mm -hmm. I don't believe in them things, boy. You leave to the individual if you want to change his life. I'm off to do it, you know. Yeah. The system can't do that. Okay. No system at all. Okay. Them, them can't create the things them for him can't make that change. But them can't change him. You know? Uh -huh. No man can save his brother's soul, man. Bob Marley don't tell you that, man. No man can save his brother's soul, you know? You know Bob Marley? What do you mean if I know Bob Marley? The trench don't grow, man. You talk about You man. grew up with, with, with Bob Marley as well? We grew up together. Bob Marley, born the real as Peter, touch Greg Rice, and name it the wall. And name it the wall. I grew up together. Run up and down all about together. Play football together, everything. Yeah, man. All yeah, right. A legend, you look upon, you know. Them man, we used to bring up. Pay a legend, you know. Them man, they are legend. It's uh -huh. when people see them thing, you know. I pay a phone call, or get called, they want to know where they are. They want to know where they are. They want to come talk to me. Because uh -huh. enough virgin, they have all about when uh, Years, we don't see them, and they don't know where I'm to, you know. Uh -huh. Them know where they got prison, and they know the certain thing, but uh, years, they don't see it. So, I know where they see this. I hold my phone call, my you talk it, man. Well, no, you want to call the chance address, you know. You have a phone number appear that you don't get now on the head. Watch and see if I joke. Uh, to be honest, yeah. me, me hear the Coopy Johnson, me hear the Coopy Johnson a myself all the time, but a right now, me name, kind man. of like, me kind of like, I wanted to sit down and actually meet this person myself. Yeah. So to be actually sitting here and you interviewing you. You hear the Coopy now. It's not like, say, a man will go around and bad up people and go out like, oh, I show up. Um, I had a love for me for youth and youth have for me. Because them sister me that youth will care more youth. And me always I look out for my brethren. Yes. He's one of the type of youth where I always look out for my virgin. If me, I eat my virgin, I feed. That's how I grow. You know? Mm -hmm. That's how we live. We live like that. We don't change. That's why we just keep seeing me in that little circle. We don't spread out like we want a new friend or we a new friend. We don't run in them something. We just stick right. with the same little whole crowd. We don't want to come up together, you know? That's how we keep it. That really real. Okay. Yeah, man. That's how we do it, man. How many children do you, do you have, please? We have five of my one and no fault there were maybe other people one, you know. Okay. Mm. Uh the the, the the how many boys have you got? Three boys. Three boys. Three boys. The path that they have chosen, the truth that they they're they yeah, the good man. None of my kids them not involved in the farm or badness or nothing like that. And none of them. them no, none of them, none of them. These start people them. So you know? everybody's doing good. Yeah, now. I make sure that that happen, you know. Yeah. I mean, never, not even my brother me don't have a light on my footstep, but should we grow bad like me to him just go do a film one thing and end you know, up did get life sentence. Fortunately, him spent 20 years on that road now, you know? Mm -hmm. Cause him love go shoot and kill and so, that's just where it go. You see, you see right now, Cooper, just let me tell you something honestly, okay? You see, in England, they have a whole heap of different kind of rehabilitation This You can go to man, no, basketball, this, you this, you this, you that. Man. But I'm gonna call a long story short. Mm -hmm. You see, the best type of rehabilitation to me, yeah. okay, is documentaries of actually interviewing individuals as yeah. yourself yeah you've been through the badness you've lived the badness mm. okay and you're still here to tell the tales give thanks yeah okay now 
when I was growing up, I just wanted to be like you. I just wanted to be like that, that kind of person. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't take no talk from nobody. Mm. Anything is anything. But regardless of that, okay, it hasn't really got me anywhere. So what would you really tell these youths right now that believe that this is the way? One thing that I like to say to the youth, them, you know, one of the youth them just love each other. I could stop fight against one another. Because right now, the people that live above you know, them boys really live up above cross road, you know. Them, them boys you know, in the world stop fight against one another because they know any day we put on that gun against one another, them gun they are going to turn up a sentence and that them know and that them know what happened. That's why they make this thing a canteen in our ghetto, you know. We're going to fight against one another, but them can't stop it, you know, and just stop, you know. Because we're going to turn up some man, up, up the road we're going to fight, man, sentence. Because them boys they are, them boys that make us go through all the way I go through. And the youth them realize that. Wise up. Wise up and know that. Say, any day we stop fire a gun at the ghetto, it will fire up a sentence. And that them no want. That's why they don't have anything that them power to make it continue the fire dog or so. But youth are youth, what no eye? That's all I have said to them. Just what no eye, I want to see the real thing. All right, you, 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 know, know, that, you, know? you know the saying, there's a saying in Jamaica, who can hear will feel. Old time saying. All right, it's an old time saying. So therefore, they use them right now. Give an expression of that, some of that nature to me, to, so they understand exactly. Because right now, what all you're saying is like basically they think it to themselves. Okay, you go Where through that. You? Me now go through that. Me now get, get shot. Me now get pulled. I have a day them you to experience that way. I say, cause them to them friend and they even near around them, so them know that. If you know how you feel, mm -hmm. so I have a day to happen now in the ghetto. This man before no come here. A big shoot out go on out there, so you know, man all dead and all them things. I have to take it when I come, I have to go rear round for pass, because I can't pass. Because yeah. police tape off there, so. So, I saw where them say for their experience, who oh, don't hear feel, them know this. I don't have to tell them that, I don't have to tell them that. That's what every day them say that. You know? Yeah. Yeah, man. I feel like a youth that die, you know. No one again a elder die, but I feel like a young youth that die. Them for live, man. Who answer them youth to live? Me not like for know, say, boy. We can't answer them youth as big, man, you know? Yeah. I make them know, say, boy. We the elder, who now come reach our age, you know, and we feel the same, we feel, you know. Because mm -hmm. them feel like, say, boy, elder, or some of the, one of the worst things in the world, you know. But them not know, say, them all get elder like we. Because we used to feel them same way when we are growing. So That's what I want to tell them. Like because we don't get old, you, know? when, you, see, you see, when I was young, and you're telling me about 40 years from yeah. now, 50 years from now, I don't we really want to listen. We never believe that I want to listen because I wasn't even sure if I would live to see the, the, those years. Yeah, yeah, so well, right now, they use them that are watching this now that in yeah, the yeah. 20s and the 30s. What are you get old, man? What are you Let them know that. Let you know. get It's a joy to get old, you know. It's a pleasure. When you read 78, because them say, when you read 70, you live through a God, expect you to live, you know, three square yeah. and ten, you know, so it's a blessing. Try to live for each day, you know, you and more, you know. Yeah, man. Bless with that, you know. Okay. Yeah. Well, um, tell me something. Through it all now, okay? Through it all now, and I must say, I'm very, very glad to have come here and meet you for the first time. And was it worth it? You mean, you know, I look a little thing around here, you know? Was it, yeah, no, was, it, yeah, was it worth it, like, through it all? Because through all the crimes and stuff oh. that we do, we always think to ourselves, for example, if we're selling drugs, within the next 10, well, 15 years' time, we're going to have a big mansion in Florida, and we're going to have a dozen kids running around. Okay, you've gone through so much robberies, yeah. the different kind of lifestyle, and you're not living that lifestyle now. So was it really worth it? Yeah, it's worth it to me, you know, car. Yeah, why it's worth it to me, you know? A lot of youth inspired by what do, and... Them go do things like when me that do and them get you and them live nice and thing. I'm going to give thanks to that for no say why. Me, me, you know, achieve when me set out for achieve, you know. Mm. But because of my inspiration, I need a youth achieve. And that's good for me. Yeah. You know? I tell you, I don't do nothing, I have regrets and sorry about, you know. Because I know what I do, you know. I am not one of the men who never know what I do, you know. I know when I go do that, I know what I go do. It's when I go to prison for the, the bank, I mm -hmm. know. I may end up a prison for them, I may be dead. We know all of them things. Them things they're conscious in my head. All of me and the police about England and them shoot me. You know, me done, me understand all of that. So I go say me it's sorry. All right. I, I have no regret. Tell know. me something, please, right? Now tell, tell uh, them. Like please. the one that forced me to go do these things. I mean do it half of my own, you know? Yeah. 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 Alright, tell me this please, right? You see, um, as you're growing up, as you're growing up, you you have like in every gang, in every team. Okay, you have 
two, three people that wants to go the legal way and do this, and the next two, three people that wants to go, go do drugs, kill people, whatever, whatever. Why didn't you take up that way and follow them? Why go this way? For sure, I already, you know, when me left prison in Jamaica in 1981 for the bank, me and thing. I go rise up my land monks and we had a good. Then they are going nice and thing again. Then, you have a thing now in Jamaica with them police, you know, you know. Because first when I left prison, they never want me to stay in a Kingston because they banned me from Kingston and I have to do a country for two years. I live a country before me. Come back at town, decide to me. Now I go spend more time in a country and come back at town. All right, that's the first black hair they put against me. You know. Then when me, the monks, Greg Rice, have me find myself no because after me, I come at town. I end up in front of the parole board like them want to send me back to prison. I yeah. named that road, I named that road three months, you know, after doing 10 years, you know. They want to send me back to prison for nothing at all because I come look for my friend them. Because I must have been left the country and I tell them say, I come to town. Yeah. I a job here, you know. Mm -hmm. And I like to be a foreigner. I can come look for my friend in the town. That it kind of upset me and get my mother raped. They nearly take her and my parents send back to prison. Anyway, it never happened because Greg Rice, I could send the lawyer and the lawyer come tell them, I explain and talk to them, you know. So yeah. it's free. All right. So I do good. Me, Leg of them thing there and, and deal with books and deal with business and consciousness and them thing there. You know? Mm -hmm. But I'm sure it's a sometimes circumstances of a forcing and them thing. Now some local man where start rob some bank. <laughs> we don't know nothing about these things, you know. We think the police ask for I look for. Because every time a bank rob in Jamaica, I'm the first man. You don't come ask about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the first man, I'm always come ask. So them things that reach me to again. I mean, never like that. So, I just said, then if I be a bad name, I better me just go do the things then. And I just get wild again. Simple as that. I just get wild again. You know? Uh, all, so right, you know. all right, tell me something. You see in your, um, in your friends as you grow up, okay? As, as you said, some of them are in prison now, some of them have passed away, etc., etc. Yeah. Tell the, tell, tell the youth, tell the youth that, let them understand that even though you have 10 friends in your, t in your group, or you know you're saying seven different brothers, seven different mm -hmm. minds. Can you let them know, even though you have 10 friends, 10 friends that you hang around with or par with, okay, whatever you want to call it, let them know uh, where this, they, how three friends will depart and turn informers, and the same, fr the same friends that are basically close to you, let them know how s close friends can turn enemies, basically. Yeah, man, them That's basically what I'm trying to um, ask you. All right. Explain to them how the close two, friends can become the two enemies. The time I got a prison, you know, it was like, say, a stranger, all uh, them things that make me end up a prison, you know. It was... Friend, the same man, me and them make move through them mouth and them thing they call Your me, friends you know. and your prison. You know me I tell you, man? In mm -hmm. England, one of the man, because the, the police don't know me in England, you know. The police yeah. never know me in England. And the man, who is this a command? Who is this a command? We shoot or the police. I, them never know. And friend give them a description of me. You know, they call photo fit. Yes. That, if you identify me. In a Jamaica, is a friend, him going to do something wrong. And when the police come and cast him over him the wrong, him call my name. Call oh, your so, name. When my name is involved in that. Not to, not, that did never have nothing to do with the police to come for him. Because when he his fire a gun in his yard, when he knew him never have a license for and people call him police for him, and police come for him. But because he knew we got to do that, yes. when the police them come for him, he feel like that the police them come out. And, and him just that. Uh, and these are people that you trusted, that you believe I mean, that was loyal. If I didn't go to something, I must trust him. If I didn't go to power works, I must somebody I trust with my life. And he still turned you to... You know? And through him, go do something illegal now, because I'm going for him here, things and lick over him bar and him thing, I'm going to broke him bar and go fire shot him. And I lie for the gun, you know. I'm going to fire shot. So I'm going show you. You know, so, yeah, man, his friend can be destructive sometimes. But I'm tell you this. We have all of our friends where we all are walk together, go, but the man is never involved in our wrongs, you know. Because mm -hmm. you can have friends where you have them spare every day and they never do wrongs. Because we have no friend like that. Yeah. We're never involved in our wrongs, but them spare every day, anywhere they are, they are the same, you know. But they never mm -hmm. really involved in them thing. So it go like that, too, you know. Yeah, okay. Man. Well, Mr. Cooper, I have to say, it's been very, very, very yeah. interesting meeting yeah, you and, I, and, and I, having and this I meeting. I'm glad to get this over that okay. people can understand. So this thing here wasn't black and white. Yes. Uh, most people think it's a black and white thing, you know. And people always condemn the local man they were involved in a certain thing. But them, if you understand, say, circumstances, the thing were forced enough you in a certain things where And I like to them love it. Because uh, them know the engine and you know. No man love the engine, you know. Uh -huh. But sometimes... She don't want to go hungry, you know, people don't want to go hungry. I've got the things. Right now, I was sitting on stop.
Say God bless him. Give thanks. Thank you very much.